Aries, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So let's jump straight into it. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Aries for the rest of September. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the rest of the month. <laughs> I was about to say the month ahead. All right, for the rest of the month. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. All the readings on my channel are free. All right. So Aries, your overall energy for the rest of the month is the Ace of Pentacles. That's nice. The Ace of Pentacles. You have the Emperor. The Page of Wands. And then the Judgment. All right. The Eight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and then the World. All right. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right. There could be a choice here. Not there could be, there is a choice here. All right. Okay. So. Aries, your challenge for the rest of the month is the Six of Wands, all right? There's confidence here. There's lack of confidence here, I'm feeling, all right? Lack of confidence whether or not who you want to choose because I feel that there are uh, choices coming towards you. Lack, lack of um, confidence whether or not you want to give someone a second chance a third chance how many chances you've given to your past person i don't know um you know better than i do but you know a second chance with your past person you don't know if you're confident enough to open yourself up up to new love all right so there is um confidence that is the not confidence with yourself but confidence whether or not you are ready for a new relationship with someone new or with your past person all right please take it how it resonates all right you have the ace of pentacles as your overall energy for the rest of the month all right definitely a very solid and stable offer coming towards you all right this is gifted from the universe this is something that is made for you and just for you all right uh yeah really really nice um Okay, they're giving me something. Give me a... F okay. Well, I can see a mandala. I know. Okay. Okay. So, I'm hearing you are, this is, this offer is, well, this offer is going to be from someone who is very privileged, coming from a very privileged family, or very high up their family, a very rich person, alright? So, take it how it resonates, alright? If, if someone com comes towards you who is pretty rich, or someone who has who has a lot more who has a better standing in life than you then i don't know take it how it resonates all right they're just giving me that for some reason they're showing me someone with a lot of gold bars for some reason sitting on gold bars all right these two kings are sitting all right and these two kings are actually really um rich <laughs> okay 
So you have an emperor coming towards you. I'm heavily feeling this is someone from your past, all right? This is someone from your past looking back at you. Seeing if you've moved on, it's going to message you, all right? I'm hearing this could this person could be a little bit bossy, but you know, take it how it resonates. I'm not saying that because they're rich, they're bossy, all right? But this person can be a little bit controlling for some reason in the relationship. A little bit bossy, a little bit controlling. Someone who really wants to take control of the situation, wants to always, you know, um, appear large and in charge. But yeah, this is someone who is a boss who might be an entrepreneur someone who might be holding a high position in a in a good company you know take it how it resonates but this person is um i'm heavily feeling from your past i'm heavily feeling that they're going to be messaging you all right they're going to be messaging you in the next few weeks all right in the next few weeks you will get a message i'm hearing um around the second to the last week well the second to the last week we are in the mid-month all right for some reason okay so you have someone new someone new coming towards you all right this is the new guy the new the new person all right male female not really gen not really a gender specific reading but this person has the king of pentacles energy all right this is someone who really works hard who's really stable emotionally and especially financially all right this person loves to work this person has wants to offer a new and exciting and passionate um off give a new um, where am i a new exciting and passionate offer towards you all right very new very new all right, this person is very stable, very mature, all right? It's nice, okay. So you have the judgment card here and the world, all right? So this is your call, totally your call. The judgment card is a card of second chances. So if you want to give your past person the another chance it's totally up to you you always have your free will please don't uh use this as your reference like um ellie said that i'm getting back with your with my ex so i'm getting back with my ex no all right you have your free will all right the judgment card here it just means you can have a second chance with your purse with your past person if you want to this is totally your call all right um Whoever you choose in this situation, um, I'm hearing it's really going to start a new cycle in your life, all right? It's really going to start a new cycle in your life. There could be travel involved, indicated in the world card, but take it how it resonates. Some countries cannot travel at the moment. Maybe you can travel within the country, all right? But yeah, take it how it resonates. Your overall outcome for this situation is the Five of Wands, the Two of Swords, and then the Tower. This is going to come in as a surprise, all right? Just when you least expect love to come in, two people would want to fight for your attention, all right? Two, at least two people would want to fight for your attention, all right? And this is going to give you a lot of um, indecision who are you going to choose whether or not it's someone from your past who you've had history with who you know a little bit on their habits or someone new someone fresh someone who could you could actually you know start something new with someone who's actually stable all right this is going to come in as a surprise for you a lot of people really competing for your attention as as of the for the rest of the uh month all right aries you're very beautiful always i mean always but you are getting a lot of attention at this time okay we'll take that you have the hierophant card here so it's possible I just saw it all right i really don't usually i usually don't look at the bottom of the cards during in the middle of the read but that's the hierophant card so could be a card of 
you know, higher form of commitment. All right, you have the Four of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and then the Queen of Swords, all right? Definitely, there's going to be a lot of clarity, all right? Use logic, head over heart, all right? Uh, Aries, head over heart. Ace of Wands, there's going to be a lot of excitement coming towards you. Get ready, all right? It's going to come in fast. It's going to get... It's gonna come in very hot and passionate so you have to rest you have to rejuvenate because when it comes in because when it comes in it's gonna sweep you off your feet I'm hearing sweep you off your feet this person looks like they're going they're being swept off their feet for some reason okay are you ready Aries are you ready it's a an exciting rest of the month for you you have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith and getting to know each other. So I'm hearing this is more on the new person. So getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right. So let's see. Put it there. All right. And then you have the wisdom of the oracle. You have a leg up. That is number 34. 3 plus 4. Uh, when you reduce it, 3 plus 4 is 7. That is the chariot card. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. Not really necessary. Or a Libra or another Aries. Right? Another Aries. You can. They can have those placements, I mean. A leg up in the reverse. Let's see. What does it say? The message there. You're, uh, I mean, are you always, protection message. Are you always insisting on doing everything yourself? Do you have little faith that help will come? Convinced that the burden of the world is doomed to remain on your shoulders? Your beliefs are, uh, uh, your beliefs about going alone need to be discarded as they do not serve you at all. Let others help you. Yes, it will make you feel vulnerable to admit you need a helping hand, but to be vulnerable is good. It is uh, for you have a lesson to learn. You must let someone else assist. You can't do life all by yourself. Once you shift your expectations, you will be amazed by how quickly help arrives to give you a leg up. All right, so... All right, so I hope something in the reading resonated, Aries. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Um, you can actually go back to this reading and let me know if it resonated for you at the end of the month, all right? I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the month and stay blessed.